Hey everybody, welcome back to Slime Rancher here on Radioactive Inc. I'm your host, Fletcher Stump. So, I uh, did a little bit more off camera. I got the heart module, which gives me 150 health now. I got a pond, I got my honey booms, I got my boom tabbies. And uh, made a lot of money. So what we're going to do is we are going to run out and grab some phosphor slimes while it's still nighttime. And we are going to put them in a corral. I don't really want the pink plort, but I will take it for now. Due to the simple fact that it will fill up my inventory and I won't suck up anything not useful. Oh, I also got the pulse wave, which I uh, can use by clicking down the mouse wheel like so. Don't know how often I'll use that, though. So, uh, for now, let's uh, gather up some phosphors, and when I have a good amount, I will take them back to the ranch. So, uh, stay tuned. Alright, so I was only able to get my hands on eight phosphor slimes. There are a lot of tars out and about. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but we are going to open up the grotto. And we're going to take them in here, because I believe this is an... Yep. This is definitely an area in which these guys can survive. So let's start by buying a corral, and we're just going to deck this thing out like high walls, air net, the works. Let's see, get you an air net, uh, get you a plort collector. Still have money, so let's keep going. Let's get you an auto feeder and a music box. All right. Now, I'm going to hang on to these little guys for just a minute longer. I want to uh, get some plorts for them. And, you know, cash in some plorts myself. So, uh, stay tuned. Alright, so I have my phosphor slimes. I have the plorts in which I want to give them. Well, some of them anyway. Because, you know, only two inventory slots. So we'll put two of you guys in here and we'll turn you into honey phosphors. Yeah, so these guys are on a total fruit diet. And that's good because I started up a farm. So, it all works out. Alright, let's purchase another corral. And let's purchase some high walls. And an air net. I'll get the rest of the stuff, you know, as I go along. So, uh, deposit two phosphors in here. Give each one a rock plort. You might get out of the way of the other guy. So these guys are on a veggie and fruit diet. Alright, and let's try and get a last one. If I have the money for everything I will need. High walls and an air net. Just so they can't get away. Alright, and now they're on a meat and fruit and they're boom phosphor largos. So now I can keep my phosphors and still get a whole bunch of stuff out of, you know, all of them. Uh, you guys are on the fruit, you guys are on the veggie and fruit. Okay, so uh, let's go check on my garden and see if my mint mangoes have come in. Because if so, I can... Aha, they have, yes! I went out and got some mint mangoes because they give you uh, twice as many plorts just like the uh, the chickens I also got some uh, heartbeats there so uh, let's run in let's feed the phosphors and then we'll collect some plorts and see about opening up a new area alright so we are ready to open up the gr overgrowth grotto yeah, already opened up the grotto, we're ready to open up the overgrowth, and purchase, and let's go see what's inside. Whoa. Chickens, fruit, a lot of farming areas, which is really good. I can put a lot of farms here. Alright, so let's see, we got one, two... Three, 
I guess about f maybe four areas in which to plant, which works out great for the uh, for the whole farming. So we got four areas in which to plant. When the crops come in, I'll I'll start up some new farms. I will probably be drawing this uh, probably to a close, not much longer. I mean, you know, with the game still being uh, you know early in development, there's not all that much that I can do right now. So, but I, I did find some uh, some chickens, which I need to take care of. Too many chickens, and they stop laying eggs. So, gotta watch that. Don't want too many roosters either. So, chicken control. You're coming too. You're all gonna get fed to something. Alright, we'll throw those in there. These guys eat fruit and meat, so we'll throw the rest in there. And we'll give them some roost rows too. Cause you can never have enough. Ah, new plorts are in. Plort collectors are efficient. Oh yeah, and I have my puddle slimes. I Whoa, these guys have been busy. I gotta make sure to bring them some water later. Fill up their pond a little bit more because they eat the water, so it, uh, you gotta make sure that they have plenty. Alright, let's deposit these. Look at that, puddle plorts are going for 60. That is awesome. Alrighty. Let's harvest these and uh, go start another planting. And then I can destroy this and uh, start up something new. Running, running, running. Alright, so let's see a garden. Let's just go ahead and purchase everything we're gonna need nutrient soil to help it grow faster, sprinkler. I don't have to worry about a scare slime because, well, no slime's gonna get back here. So, boop. All right, then let's put one over here. Need a garden. I need nutrient soil, and I need a sprinkler. Now I am broke, but it's worth it. All right, uh, let's go put these heartbeats in the rock tabbies. Yeah, they need a refill. And now I'll be able to keep them fully stocked. I do that because uh, the heartbeats give double the plorts. So, it's, uh, it's very, very effective. Alright, I don't really need to do much for these guys. A new batch of uh, those will be coming in soon. Uh, no plorts to speak of at the moment. And I'm still holding two phosphor slimes. Lovely. All right, well, let's collect your plorts. And deposit. All right, now how much does it cost to destroy this? Costs 100, perfect. Uh, mint mango is almost ready. I don't want to harvest those yet. All right, let's go get all the plorts from the phosphor largos in the cave because that will give some extra money. Let's see what I can build here that I don't already have. Uh, an incinerator and a silo. Let's build the incinerator. Whoa. As mean as it is, I want to test it out using the phosphor. No, no. Okay, I, I won't, I won't. All right, let's harvest these. Pull 
them straight off the tree because they're ready. Alright, I probably got one more one more out of that and then I won't be able to harvest anything else because it'll be uh, all done. Alright, but uh, while while I'm going to wait, I'm going to run out and I'm going to get some water for the pond slimes. So, yeah. And I'm back with water. Picked up a bunch of pink plorts while I was out because uh, the price on them has gone up a little bit and, you know, money's money. All right, let's go add some water to the pond. Though it wasn't a lot, the pond did fill up, so we can rejoice in that. Need to make just a little bit more money before I go start up some mango gardens. Ow. And then I will destroy the mint mango garden I have and probably put up a silo because that's like the only thing I don't have. And then hopefully I should be able to keep up with everything enough so that I can start generating more money. Gold plorts are 376. Even off camera, I haven't been able to find another one. I have been uh, actually getting into the undeveloped areas and looking around, kind of assuming what's going to be there versus, you know, what's actually there. So maybe, uh, maybe on one of my next episodes, I'll show you guys like all the undeveloped areas and, you know, you can make your own assumptions based upon everything. This area is booming with chickens. Too bad I don't need regular chickens anymore. Alright, so uh, let's see what I can buy. I can get the nutrient soil for you. I can get the sprinkler for you. And I can get the nutrient soil for you. And the sprinkler, cool. Yeah, the scarce climb. Uh, scarce climb. Yeah, scarce climb. The scarce slime just creates like a... Uh, a little scarecrow version of a tar that keeps the slimes away from your garden so they don't eat the food if you haven't picked it up yet. It's uh, actually pretty effective. Such is everything. Alright, let me fill up their auto feeder because I've been feeding them mint mangoes. And no, I'm not forgetting about the slimes in the cave. I'm just not worried about them at the moment. I'm more concerned with how I'm going to make money. I had so much and now it's all gone. But I can make it back. Oh, he just ate. <laughs> that poor chicken. You heard it. Alright, so let's deposit these and then let's get a, uh, a few more power-ups for my person. Alright, so we have the uh, Tank Booster Mark II, which allows me to carry four un or 40 units. The Power Core, which gives me 200 energy. The air drive, which uh, consumes 20% less energy on my jetpack, and then the dash boost again. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the dash boost, because I do a lot of running, and want to be able to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the air drive. Uh, I'll be able to get one of these. Alright, let's go ahead and get the tank booster so I can carry around more stuff. Because the more stuff I can carry, the better off I'm probably going to be. Um, I'm going to let that one finish because I do believe that after this last growth, uh, it, it'll be done. Like, the, the tree will vanish, so. Uh, let's check the chickens and see if they have not overpopulated. Okay, a lot of stony hens. Not so many briar hens. All right. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick up some of these. Yeah, I, I was reading in the uh, Slimepedia that if you actually have too many, they will stop producing eggs. 
But yeah, I think my next episode will uh, just be showing you guys around the undeveloped areas and kind of show you what's going on out there. And, you know, maybe you can make some assumptions on what's going to be coming up. Or, you know, like what will be in these areas. Will there be any food? Ooh. I'll just suck you all up. I can put you back. That sounded weird. Alright, and the water. Alright, let's go deposit these, and then I... That's about it, folks. I mean, uh... If... If you liked the episode, be sure to leave me a like. Uh, you know, let me know what you think of the episode down in the comments. If you're new to the channel and you, uh, you want to stick around, feel free to click that subscribe button, but... If not, that's understandable. That's cool. But, uh, probably only get about maybe two more episodes out of this, and then I'll just have to wait until they update the game before I start doing more stuff. But, uh, I hope you did, I hope you guys did enjoy this, and, uh, until the next time, my name is Fletcher Stump with Radioactive Inc. And rem please remember to take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we are signing off.